Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add tab navigation to your Expo React Native apps. There are a few things you're going to need to install and I'm going to link the um, link to this documentation in the description below so you can go ahead and find the in in what you need to install. Um, and then I'll show you where the guide is for tab navigation as well and link that in the description as well. All my code is going to be available on GitHub so you can check it out, out there. Um, yeah, so there's a few dependencies you need to install that will allow it, allow you to easily add navigation into your Expo React Native app. And what you're going to get at the bottom is like one of those normal tab bars that you see. You can click on different tabs and it'll take you there. You can add icons to sort of represent it. Um, so an example would be um, in Facebook, you've got the Marketplace tab, you've got your Newsfeed tab. Once that's installed, we can go ahead and we can go and add our tab navigation. So I've clicked on the tab navigation guide and I'm going to need to install this React Navigation Bottom Tabs. I'm just going to import the um, Create Bottom Tab Navigator and the navigation container, which is what I'm going to use to add navigation to my app. You're also going to need two screens, um, or more screens if you've got more tabs, to basically um, be what you're going to navigate to. And I'm going to add a couple of screens as well. I'm going to put this in a separate file just because I like these separated out. So I've got my home.js, and I'm also just going to copy in from my app.js into my home.js. Removing the navigation code because I don't need navigation code in my home.js, it's going to exist in my app.js. I'll just add some text that's relevant so that you can differentiate this in my other page. And now that I've got that, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it and change it so that you can recognize each individual page. So I'm creating another page which is for settings. I'll just rename that as so. So I'm going to import my different screens. And once I've done that, I can go ahead and add my navigation container, which is going to reference the different screens I have and their names. So I've got my navigation container, which is a tab navigator. And I've got my different screens, which is homes, home and settings. I've given those different names. I could actually manually route to those if I wanted to without using the um, tabs. All I'd have to do there would be basically to use the navigation um, property or navigation passed into the um, component. So now I'm just going ahead and starting that up. And when it starts, you can see that it's on the home screen by default. And then there's also that setting screen. But you notice that there's no icons there. So you can go ahead and you can actually customize the appearance by providing different icons that you want to be available um, and shown in the tab navigator. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So basically I've copied this from the documentation but basically what this is is some screen options um, and what I'm providing here is basically I'm saying for the route I want to be able to provide these options um, so for the tab bar icon I've got a function that's going to take in the um, focus color whether it's focus color and size and I'm going to check the route name to determine what 
icon I want to use and um, the focus is going to give me basically what style of that particular icon I want to use and then you can also provide the tab bar active tint color and inactive tint color. I'm using ionic icons. I'm going to keep the color and the size just as it's been passed in. It's just the icon name that I'm going to calculate, determine based on what the route is. So you can see that I've um, gone ahead and saved that and reloaded. You can see they've got different icons there now and different colors for whether it's focused or not. Um, you can go check out um, what icons are available on the website for Ion, Ion icons. Um, yeah, so the one I've chosen is actually not an actual icon, so that's why I need to go and check and see what a um, relevant icon would be. I'm just going to change my settings. So I'm going to use this settings outline and settings filled. So if I go back to Visual Studio, instead of iOS list box, I'm going to use settings and settings outline. I'm going to use the outline for when it's not focused, just so it's a little bit less prominent. So you can see if I click it, it goes solid. If I am not focused on it, then it's um, an outline. And it sort of looks like quite clear. Um, obviously, these tint colors are not ideal. They don't look great, but they are very obvious. Another thing you can do is you can actually add tab bar badges, which are basically like a little number count. Um, so like say you had notifications on a particular um, part of the app, you might want to say how many sort of notifications that person has. You can do that using tab bar badges. You just specify the options and give it a value like a count. And so I've done that now and you can see the settings now has a little badge next to it of free. Of You can actually also specify the initial route name. So that's basically what page is going to be shown when you first load the app. So I'm going to specify settings. And if I save and reload, so I'm just going to need to reload. So when I reload, it takes me back to that settings page. Another thing you can do is actually hide that header bar. So you might want to do that when there's no specific actions you want to add to the header. And because you've already got the tab bar navigator, you don't actually need the header showing. You can use the um, option header shown and set it to false. If you do it against the tab navigator, it'll be like that for all screens. And if you do it against just a specific tab screen, then it'll only be hidden on that tab screen. So yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for all my content. Um, all the code will be available on my GitHub and I'll link in the description below.